the auction. Boy, my window's filthy. Uh, I went to the thrift store, picked up a few things, try to avoid Hopper's camera today. Uh, yeah, I might have more videos, just what I freaking need, and some Star Trek paperbacks, even though I didn't really sell to me. I couldn't find that movie there. Uh, the Wolves of Cromer. And there's some stuff in that green bag. So, I will talk to you later. Well, there is a box of records, uh, quite a few Bob Seeger and Cheap Tricks. Uh, I'm not sure what I want to go on. They looked okay from the ones I looked at. I may have to go look at them all to make sure they're going to be good. Hopper said he'd like to have a couple, one of the Thoroughgood, or Thoroughgood, Cougars, John Cougar Mellencamp, and uh, one of the cheap tricks. Uh, I don't know. I'm not sure what I can get out of them. I don't know if I can get five a piece for them, then it might be worth me going to 50 bucks, but mm, I don't know. My shirt I got at the thrift store in Titusville today. It's for the old uh, Connie at Lake Park Ghost Lake, 13 levels of fear. I don't know if that's worth it. Might get 10 bucks for it. And my videotapes. Uh, there's that Wolves one. A sealed Yellowstone. Reader's Digest. I got two copies of X Files sealed. One's got the sticker still on the outside. The hype sticker. Uh, Highlander about bloopers. That must have been a part of a set. Uh, whatever that is. I don't know what it is. I... Alice in Wonderhand. Black... Oh, no, it's not the Black Diamond. Um, Mr. Death. Screener cop. It looks like they got 20 bucks for it. Threw this in the front of my cheap tapes up. Outsiders. Office of Fury. Re oh, Return of the Dragon with Harry Chuck Norris. <laughs> Yeah. It's funny, I just saw Hopper. I just got this copy of uh, Bruce Springsteen, and there's one here tonight. Desert Eat with Von Dom, Return of the Jedi Special Edition. Got to pick up a couple cups. I think they were both half off. Uh, this cat one, Vintage 80. Uh, Skyline Caverns Glass. I'm not sure that no, doesn't have a company name on it. Um, some of the books, Star Trek Voyager, Star Trek Strangers from the Sky, Wind, Windows of the Lost World, uh, The Love of Audrey Rose, The Final Nexus, Across the Universe, and oh, a uh, Three Minute Universe. And then two more videos. Chuck Norris, Eye for Night. Saw that at the Penn Theater. And Lost in Space. Just to pull up to my wrist. <laughs> I gab too much, uh, but I probably won't do anything until tomorrow if I make a video. It's too late. It'll be too dark. Didn't really get a lot. So I don't know. Maybe we won't have a video. Too late. Look at how dark this haul video will be if I do it tonight. Um, I'm probably not going to do it. Right, let's see what this is. Uh, this is a Kim Possible figure. I'm not sure what it's worth because there was t her and him together and they got a hundred bucks for him. So I think there's one listed for 60. Uh, I got a box of Paz, Ghosts and Pumpkins. I don't know if the candy's any good. Let's see what year these are. Hmm. Uh huh. I don't know. I may have to eat all that candy so nobody will be poisoned. Uh. Huh, I don't see no, no expiration date. must be on the packages. Well, it's too dark out here, that's for sure. Let's see here. Uh, uh, good forever. Huh, I don't see a date. 
They smell good. <laughs> I got another box of junk toys. There might be something good in there. Here's a uh, scuba tank. It's either probably for G.I. Joe or maybe for uh, Ken or Barbie or uh, oh, what was that other figure? Uh, that you could make them anything. I don't know. I can't remember. Got a box of albums. Actually, two boxes. This one's mostly Bill Cosby. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, look at that filthy van. Somebody better clean it. Well, I have to mow and uh, stuff today, so this is going to have to be quick. Uh, I think the only people that watch this day already know what I bought, so I don't know why I bother. <laughs> uh, well, let's see. What did I get? Barely anything. I bought a scale for somebody. Uh, I got a, another box of junk. Lots of these guys. I should make something off the lot or just take them to the flea market. I haven't decided. Finish going through it. Maybe there'll be some hidden treasure. These parts look. Hmm. What's it say on them? 1974 General Mills. Huh. That's unusual. Is that Star Wars? Is that Ewok? <laughs> Not in 74. I don't know what that'd be. General Mills? There's the other part of it. Huh. And I got this. I figure it's either from, uh, wait, did I already do this last night? Yes. Well, I'm going to have to cut that part out. Uh, I don't know what this is for. No, no info on it. I'm figuring it's either G.I. Joe or something. I guess it could be Barbie. It could be whatever. Um, the trailer, Avon, a bunch of miscellaneous parts. A belt that's for another figure. Oh, and here's more of that stuff. Huh. I don't know. It looks like I'm missing parts of it, but I'm not sure because here's a log. Huh. Maybe it is in there. Oh, a treasure chest. 1974 Kenner. Ah, <gasps> is it Planet of the Apes? Oh, hmm. Interesting. I'm glad. I think I have to thank Hopper for. Because I wasn't, I wasn't really concerned about this box, but, uh, hmm, okay, uh, well, then I bought, uh, these Pez for two dollars, or was it three, no, it was two, uh, Al up there threw these on my thing, well, he actually threw a couple piles of stuff, which I should have taken, that there was newspapers that I probably could have taken to the flea market one time, maybe got rid of them to somebody for a buck or two. I kept the Otters things. These albums I paid two whole dollars for. My fourth copy of this. I have not tried my third one to see if it skips. Now I have another one. Maybe I can make two copies now. There's two albums without covers. Oh, no it isn't. That's Gene Autry. Let's see what this one is. Is it Elvis? Nope. Julie Andrews Christmas. Neil Young. Oh, I didn't even see that in there. I looked right past Neil Young Crazy Horse. I'm going to pull that out to the side. we got Pretty Paper. Uh, the Union Gap featuring Gary Puckett. Uh, and there's a lot of Bill Cosby, not to offend. B.B. King. Blues on the top of Blues. Boy, it's pretty mill, dude. Another Bill. Flip Wilson. I love Flip Wilson. My son, the folk singer. Huh, that's unusual. I'm already listening to that. Oak Ridge Boys. Jesus is coming. Uh, Bill Cosby again. Bill Cosby. See, he did do adult stuff. Uh, Oak Ridge Boys, just for you. Uh, more, uh, more religious stuff, it looks like. Is this more religious? I thought they weren't that religious. Seems like all these are religious. Huh. I remember, wasn't it Elvira? Or is that Sattler Brothers? <laughs> Knockers up, Rusty Warren, Touch of Country, uh, whatever that is, Bill Cosby again, uh, Arkansas Traveler, Born Free, as free as the whatever, any which way you can. That's the only reason I invested my two dollars, but I'm glad I didn't even notice that Neil Young, because it's like Christmas. Any which way you can. Ice Castles. Oak Ridge Boys again. What's on here? Hmm, more all religious stuff. Huh. Is it sealed? No. Johnny Carson. We see a lot of copies of that. I should be able to get a buck for it, I hope. Chevy Van. All redone by a different band. Uh, Bill Cosby again. I love the cover on this. I love those kites. That's definitely coming off the side. Uh, whatever. 
born free again. Pull that out too. Leaving on a jet plane. Uh, winter world of love. New world coming. Is it all religious? Huh. I don't know. Quicksilver. Kevin Bacon. I remember he was like that bike delivery guy or whatever. Michael Todd's around the world in 80 days. Hmm. Weird. The Jets. 12 inch. Bachelors. It's kind of unusual. Check that out. Fast break. Mmm. Textured cover. Uh, Eleanor or whatever and whatever. And the guy from Sesame Street. So overall, that might be a good purchase for two bucks. Alright, now I'm going to reposition some stuff. stuff too or handed to me Bob Seeger program it's not in the best of shape but it might have some value for me uh, and that goes these are albums I paid 40 some bucks for Hopper gave me well he's gonna give me 15 for two records but I took 10 I still feel kind of greedy <laughs> even though I gotta make money off this crap uh, I got Bob Seeger and Seeger system Neil Diamond's greatest hits Neil Diamond again. There's quite a change between that Neil Diamond and uh, maybe not. Just the hairdos. <laughs> another Neil Diamond and then uh, another Neil Diamond. Another Neil Diamond. Bob Seeger again. Night moves. Bob Seeger. Silver Bullet Line. Nine tonight. And Heartlight. Neil Diamond. It's not really worth a lot. It's like a ten dollar record. I probably can get five maybe at the flea market. It's an ET song. Heartlight. Uh, Neil Diamond again, just for you. What a that crooner. Thought he was a young Bob Dylan. And then we got some cheap tricks. All shook up. Uh, the next position, please. I always love that guitar. That's pretty awesome. Uh, Dream Police, which I have a copy of. Uh, is that cheap trick? Cheap trick, I guess. This just came out later, though, I believe. 85. They didn't have a, uh, Self oh no, standing on the edge. Oh yeah, it is inside the title. I see it now. Uh, little sister tonight, it's you. Hmm, standing on the edge. I don't think there's any hits there that I remember. Unlike Dream Police, which had uh, Dream Police, Way of the World, House is Rockin', Going to Race House. Okay, a little slow. Um, I'll be with you tonight was a hit. Writing on the Wall, I think they released. Voices definitely was released as a single. I Know What I Want I, and Need Your Love. All these, this was like their REO Speedwagon. <laughs> High Infidelity album. One on One, let's see what was on that album. I don't know, it looks like if I put them online I might get, I don't know, they're not that per nice. The covers are okay. The vinyl looked good for what I checked, but I didn't look at it at all. I want you one on one. If you want my love, looking for a number one. Ooh la la. Hmm, I don't recognize those. She's tight. Time is running. Saturday at midnight. Oh, it's got a hold on me. I want to be man. I want B man. I want B man. Hmm, four letter word. And another Bob Seeger. Like a rock. Like a rock. Hey, he probably got a lot of money from that because that was that, what, Ford ad song. Uh, the Distance, which it had, uh, Even Now, Making Thunderbirds, Shame on the Moon, that was okay, Roll Me Away, uh, that's about it on that one, what was on this one, Like a Rock, The Ring, American Storm, Tightrope, mm, Somewhere Tonight, no, that wasn't a hit. Beverly Hills Cops, Corey Hart, is it Wear My Sunglasses at Night? Hmm, it's not, is it? Shakedown, Bob Seeger. <laughs> In Deep, Hold On, Corey Hart. Alright. Um, 36 Lovers, huh, they didn't report or redo the Pointer Sisters song. 
I can't stand it. <laughs> Very special Xmas, which was what it's like. Uh, what was the Pointer Sisters, Arrhythmics, Whitney Houston, Bruce Springsteen, E Street Band, Pretenders, John Cougar, Mellencamp, Sting, Stevie Nicks, Allison Moy, Bon Jovi, Backdoor Santa. Mm. Brian Adams, Run Rudolph Run, I remember that song. Run DMC, Christmas and Hollis, uh, U2, Madonna, Bob Seger. Huh. Oh, yeah, I said Brian Adams. Uh, Bob Seger, Stranger in Town. Let's see how many songs. Was this his Ario Speedwagon album? I think it was Night Moves, I think it was. Hollywood Nights, still the same. Old time rock and roll, still, the, or still it shines. Feel like a number. The whole side was released. Ain't got no money. No, we've got tonight, definitely. Brave Strangers and Famous Final Scene, don't think so. So six songs were released as singles on this record. And they all were fairly successful. Now we'll check out Night Moves, Bob. Do you have any of this money left? Uh, rock and Roll Never Forgets. Night Moves, The Fire Down Below, Sunburst. Yep, I used to love this song, Sunspot Baby. Uh, Main Street, of course, uh, Mary Lou, can't remember, Come to Papa, eh, never really cared about that song, Ship of Fools, I think was a single, Fire Inside, hmm, Take a Chance, The Real Love, Which Way, don't know any of these songs, what year was this, 91, Fire Inside, hmm, I don't remember any of those, ah, now look at that album, the Blues Brothers, best song on it's Where Is It, Rubber Biscuit, Hey Bartender, they're a little too bluesy for me, but I love the Blues Brothers, I love the members, I love the movie that they used all the actual guys, but they were Saturday Night Live band members, so they were used to being on camera, but yes, probably the most successful thing from Saturday Night Live, maybe, okay, Wayne's World comes close, but... And then another Bob Seger, smoking OPs, which I don't know if there's Bo Diddley. I think that was a single for him. Let It Rock, Turn On Your Love Light, Jesse James, Someday, Heavy Music, If I Were a Carpenter, Hummingbird, Love the One You're With, Hey, Stephen Sills, I thought so. Uh, who else wrote this stuff? Oh, Other People's, duh. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, I get it now. Bo Deadly was written by somebody else. All of these were Leon Russell, Hummingbird. Oh no, because Bob Seger did Someday in Heavy Music. No, I don't know. Uh, Melon Camp. Uh, Paper and Fire. Uh, Cherry Bomb. Uh, that's about it for the songs off that. Uh, Scarecrow went to Hopper, and so did the one copy of Cheap Trick with Surrender on it. Um, this is my second copy of this. I just got one at that yard sale. Um, this one has some aging, so I may have to sell this one cheaper. But, uh, I don't know what I'm going to do. I may ask, I may, maybe I'll combine them together to make one best one and then one cheaper. We'll see what happens. Uh, American Fool, Jack and Diane, Hurts So Good. Uh, hand to hold on to, China Girl, jeez, and Live Bullet, let's see what, everything's on there, I always like Catman do, looks like there's something in, oh, the cover's just split, I think I just need to glue it, and then Silver Bullet, and Bob Seger had, how many hits back then, damn, he had so many, Horizontal Bob, You'll Accompany Me, Her Strut, uh, Against the Wind, Mary Lou's getting out tonight. Fire Lake. Damn, that guy had some songs. But uh, I believe that is all. I did get a Kim Possible figure, which is in the house. I'm going to take pictures after I get done messing with this crap. And uh, hopefully it'll sell fast. Oh, and the Pez for uh, Halloween ones or Skull. Some pumpkins. Uh, hopefully they're worth something. Oh yeah, I still gotta check this out. Wow. Wowzers. Quit peeking.